어느 날 제가 잘 아는 분이 저에게 선물을 주셨는데요. 그림이었습니다. 이스라엘에 있는 어떤 분이 이스라엘의 여러 장소를 그림으로 그렸는데 아주 굉장히 독특한 분위기로 그림을 그렸는데 저는 그 그림을 보는 순간 굉장히 그 특별한 감동에 사로잡혔고요. 이 그림을 그린 분이 누구냐 이렇게 여쭤봤을 때 바로 이스라엘에 있는 메시아닉 주라는 이야기를 듣게 되었습니다. 저는 호기심을 참지 못하고 그분을 찾아서 또 이스라엘로 왔습니다. 제가 오늘 와 있는 것은 바로 그 그림들을 그린 화가의 스튜디오이자 집입니다. 에이미 슈트리트라는 분의 작업실로 제가 찾아와서 오늘은 그분의 개인 간증과 또 그림 이야기들을 들어보려고 합니다. 고맙습니다. 이렇게 초청해 주셔서. 그림들이 참 종류가 많은 것 같아요. 지금까지 그린 이 작품의 수가 대략 어느 정도 될까요? I think I've painted maybe 60 or more, but I have many pictures and they're all uh, either visions that God has given me um, in night visions or day um, about his, his word, his scripture, his love, his grace. And so because the word of God is so full, I don't think I'll ever finish painting until I'm taken to be with him. 에이미 씨는 미술이 전공이십니까? I love to draw since I was a little girl. And so naturally I went to the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale when I lived in America and I learned um, art, graphic art and some fine art. 처음부터 이렇게 이스라엘이나 히브리어나 또 예수에 관한 그런 그림을 그리지는 않으셨을 거 아니에요. 언제부터 이런 그림을 그릴 생각을 하셨습니까? When I was very little, my, my art was very naive and innocent. But through my uh, teens and my younger years, it started to become very dark um, because life became dark. And I had many questions about life. But when I gave my life to the Lord, to Yeshua, Jesus, my entire life changed. And so my perspective on life change through the word of God, giving me hope and giving me light, light to my heart and light to my spirit. And so some years after I became a believer in my Jewish Messiah, Yeshua, the, the Messiah of the world, I, my desire was to design pictures that would bring hope to other people, maybe those that do know the Lord, and hope especially to those that are still searching, that they would be drawn by the image and the colors, drawn to the picture and close to read the scriptures, to read what is written, so that they too could go from darkness into His marvelous light, into the light and salvation of Yeshua. 제가 알기로는 이스라엘 사람들, 특히 유대인들은 미적 감각이 뛰어나서 그림을 그리는 사람이라든가 또는 조각하는 사람이라든가 이런 예술 계통의 사람들이 굉장히 많이 활동하고 있는 걸로 알고 있거든요. 그런 속에서 예술을 믿는 메시아닉 주가 이스라엘에서 이렇게 활동하는데 어려움은 없습니까? Not really. I have both designs for the Jew that does not believe yet. And the prophecies in those designs would be from the Old Testament, but it is still pointing towards Yeshua. If the Lord were to open that person's heart, they, they might be able to see and ask a question in their self. Maybe that is speaking of that Jesus that the Gentiles love. I do have other art pieces that have also the New Testament, but most of them tried to bring the the prophecies from the Old Testament. And if a Jewish person um, is upset about that, that's too bad because that's in their scriptures. It's in our scriptures. And I don't usually have that much opposition. 새로운 작품을 그리실 때 어떻게 기도하면서 영감을 받으십니까? 아니면 그림을 그리기 위한 따로 계획을 하십니까? 어떻게 작업을 하시나요? Many times my inspiration, like I said, comes from maybe a vision in the night or reading the scripture and seeing a, a, a vision of what I'm reading or I just 
need to paint something and then I bring the scripture into the painting that I'm that I'm doing the the subject that I'm doing uh, like like this right now the world is really focused even more than ever on Jerusalem and being the capital of Israel this painting I started two years ago but um, I knew that now as I've been watching for years, the focus has become more and more on Jerusalem that one day in this scripture that it shows that, that the Lord is going to bring his spirit back. He's going to pour his spirit onto his people and that his house in Jerusalem will be re rebuilt and the favor of the Lord will come back upon the Jewish people and the Jewish nation. 이 그림은 이게 성류인 것 같은데 이 성류 옆에 어, 히브리어로 글이 적혀 있어요. 이 그림에 대해서도 좀 설명해 주시죠. Many of my designs, but not all of them, I like to do in a mosaic look. And I just love archaeology. You know, the scripture says that if we don't speak, the rocks will cry out. And archaeology is a testament to the God of Israel and to the life of the Jewish people and the others that came, the destruction of Jerusalem, the returning of Israel. And we see so many, so much of this and also the fact that Yeshua was here and the great change that it did upon Israel and upon the world with his coming and dying for us. It, the, the entire world changed. And so my art is like digging up the scriptures and digging up the earth and re discovering rediscovering our our scriptures and our god and our people and our land so this this design is simply about the good land that the lord has given us with the many fruits and um, the trees and the herbs and and the wheat and um, and it still is a good land and god is making us very fruitful here and my prayer is that not only would we be fruitful in this land with the economy, but the fruits of the Spirit, that God would shine His, His light upon us again and give us His peace that, um, that I, I believe will be such even greater blessing than ever for, for Israel and for the entire world. 제가 조금 전에 에이미 씨한테 듣기로는 원래 미국에 살던 주이시였는데 미국에서 이제 예수님을 만나고 이스라엘로 올 생각을 하셨다 이런 얘기를 했어요. 미국에서 어떻게 에이미 씨가 또 이렇게 예수님을 만나시게 됐는지 그리고 또 예수님을 만난 이후에 왜 굳이 또 이스라엘로 오려고 했는지 개인적인 간증을 좀 들려주셨으면 좋겠습니다. Uh, well, I was very against Jesus, and so was my family. Wow. Uh, we had friends that uh, my mother said they they had um, left being Jewish, and um, they were traitors, and not to speak to them anymore. They were Jewish also. And so I was taught that Jesus is not our Messiah, and we're waiting for our own Messiah. And I remember mom, mom, Mama saying this, and, and I um, felt such peace and joy that if Mother says that this is true, we're, we're going to have our own Messiah. But the struggles of my life, I was calling out to God, and things were just very dark. And um, at this time, a Gentile man, young man my age, had invited me to a church where I would never usually go, but because of my searching for peace um, and not feeling comfortable in this world, whether it be America or any other country on, th on this planet, not feeling comfortable, I thought, it's not for me, but I'll just go. And so I went to the church the first time. I did not know anything about Jesus. I didn't know that he lived and died, was crucified. I... I I didn't know anything. Um, we were not taught, and and anything that had to do with Jesus, I closed my ears and thought this was not for us. It's for Gentiles, and it's like dirty water. <laughs> and but the first time I went into the church, I saw that everyone had such peace, and it was something I was searching for. And this, the word that the pastor was preaching, wasn't really for me, 
but I felt that the Spirit of God that was there, either people were all very crazy or, or something that I need is there. And so during that time, of course, usual church is there. They have an altar call. Well, they'll ask if somebody wants to receive the Lord. And I said, no, no, I won't do that. But I went again the next week. And the next week, the same feeling. I just wanted to cry. My heart was ready to explode and my, my tears wanted to come out, but I had to hold strong. Something in that place made me want to cry. And still again, thought everybody was crazy, crazy how they were lifting their hands up and worshiping and singing. Um, and I still felt it wasn't for me, but there was something that was there that I needed. And at the end again, an altar call, where people were asked to pray to receive Jesus. So I thought, you know, I'll just give it a try. So I stood up with everybody when they prayed and all of a sudden my life changed. Everything seemed like slow motion. I had gone to another place and they took me to the back with the other people that had prayed and I just, I said, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying. But I did not tell them I'm Jewish because I did not want them to discover. I thought maybe they would not allow me in their church if they knew that I was Jewish. So I went to the Christian store, acted like I knew what I needed when I was buying a Bible, um, when they would give me a phone call to see how I'm doing in my walk with Jesus. I would not have any questions, even though I had one million questions. I was afraid they would know I'm Jewish. And then I just started reading by myself. Um, some of the Old Testament I had known, but the New Testament, I was just eating it and devouring it like, like cake, like wonderful bread. And I had notepad and I'm taking notes. And this was going on for hours and hours and thanking God for my salvation. And then I shared with my family and my friends, and they were very, very angry at me. And after that, I wanted to die. So I tried. And um, the next morning, the Lord woke me up from my bed. Um, I could have died that evening. I won't say what I did, but the Lord saved me. And I was, um, I just knew that that was the, the truth, and, and that is the way I'm going to live my life. And so after, after that, I um, continued to read the scriptures, and the scriptures, as they became more and more real to me, I realized that me as a Jew, my home is Israel. I always felt like Israel was like grandma's house. I knew it was home, but you don't really want to go there. But now I, I felt like I belong in Israel. And so um, a couple years later, I moved. Um, it was shock to the, to the family. And I was quite young, so that was easier for me to uh, start off a new life here. ABC가 그리는 그림 속에 유대인들은 잘 모르는 예수와에 대한 그 메시지가 그림 속에 이렇게 녹아 들어가 있는 그런 그림들도 있습니까? Well, this was done one year ago. I could just say, looking at what's going on in the world, and my focus the year before was on Jerusalem, which the world's focus still is, I feel that now I could start explaining the pictures that I've done for many years. And actually, the explanation is that we need to draw to Yeshua. And so I, I, I think for myself, I was bold and put Yeshua there. And um, all of us, when we have asked the Lord for forgiveness, we're born in sin. And God knows our wretched hearts, but he is the one that cleanses us, that we fall at his knees. And he is, he is our, our healer, and our salvation. So this is, this is him when um, Mary came to Yeshua's feet and felt that she could just waste upon him um, all of the precious perfume because he is much more precious. And uh, the scripture actually is, is um, I, I believe, uh, from Isaiah. Um, 
Though, come now and let us reason, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they will be as snow. And they are red like crimson, they will be as wool. And who could do that except for God, the Lord God, that took away our sins? So, and and this is a scripture from the New Testament. And uh, her sins, which are many, are forgiven because she loved much. When we pour out our lives upon the Lord without reservation, without counting the cost, and just follow Him, um, and broken upon Him like the perfume. Um, mm. That's what God loves. That's what He's desiring is a pure heart. And that pure, broken heart, He will restore. Well, it depends if I eat or if I don't eat. <laughs> <laughs> if I have to do the dishes or my husband does the dishes. Uh, but I, I could, I could, I have painted 24 hours before. Something like this, no, this takes a lot longer. This is um, oil. These are watercolors, actually. But I have now started more with oils, and this took a few months to paint. It takes me time, plus when I'm painting, I'm living, I'm experiencing it and going into uh, the painting and what it, the meaning is. So there's a story to every painting. Yes, I did. It was a few years ago in Haifa. Mm. There was um, in the Haifa Auditorium a display of other Jewish believers here in the land, but mostly in the Haifa area, and it, the, the um, display was open to the entire public, which was really wonderful. And, and it's a well-known central building, so they have windows outside, and everybody was able to look in, and, and if they did not go into the building, they can look from outside and see the scriptures, see the, the paintings. And it was very well received. Can you do in Korea? I would love to display my pieces in Korea. Um, you just tell me when and where, and make sure there's a small bed and a pillow for me, and I'll be happy. Amy, she gets on a groom up for Hoshi. You don't talk from Okribo ships in the Hanagrot or Don Tigisnika. Well, my subjects seem to come uh, with uh, what I'm seeing in the world happening. And if you look at my studio, I'm working on two paintings. Um, one is just the love of God and, and beauty, which I believe that in these dark times, as we see the news and reports of so many painful things happening in this world, that we need to continue to keep our eyes up to the lover of our souls. He is our beloved and we are His. And soon, he will take his bride to be with him. So this is, in a way, a little bit of a bridal uh, lover's picture, what I'm doing in the other room, to keep my eyes on things that are good, my heart and mind, and things that are pleasant and things that are lovely, as the scriptures say. And the other one that isn't even close to being finished, but I, I'm working on it, is um, a picture of the mikvah or the baptism. And it's not normally, it's not usually um, what people might describe here in Israel as a mikvah, which would be in a closed room. But I'd like to see it more as a Jewish themed uh, baptism or mikvah, the way that Yeshua himself was mikvahed or baptized. And it was in regular um, natural living water outside. And I don't think I'm going to put Yeshua, but I think I will put us in that water being cleansed. And this is the day that we need to do that. If you haven't made your decision to follow the Lord, this is the day to get on your knees and cry and ask the Lord for forgiveness. He is the only one that can cleanse your heart and your soul and turn your life to, to true life, abundant life and not the, the painful, um, dirty life that you've been living in that you don't like to be in. Um, he can cleanse you. And then the, the mikvah or the baptism that 
um, comes after as a sign, a signal to God and before other people of what you have done by giving your life to the Lord and then being um, as buried like the Lord in the water and brought up to new life. And I, I believe for these days, um, it is all coming down to everyone needing to make a decision now or be sadly um, left to continue um, with your questions and without answers and living in this very painful world without trusting God for your life. And these days are going to be more painful. So I suggest, as my pictures would, just to look unto those good things and to the Lord and, and um, to ask the Lord for forgiveness, to be cleansed, to be, to be cleansed completely and go into new life. I was reading today, I believe it's Jeremiah 12. Um, if it's so difficult in the day of peace, the day of peace, to run with footmen, to run with soldiers, then how will you make it in the day of trouble when you need to run with horses? And the only way that we can do that is having the strength and the Spirit of God living inside of us. Uh, the most difficult part, I would say, is that I actually have a vision on my eye and trying to express that in picture because the vision that I have is more dimensional. It's uh, not 3D, it's six dimension and it's moving and it's alive. And to put something that is still and to still make it somehow move and for you to still see the story, stories in our life or pictures that we see in life, in real life, me looking out at a sunset. It's actually, there's movement. And in the pictures, I try to show that with the story. The happiest part is when I've been able to maybe express the scripture properly and the vision properly. And, and um, uh, sometimes there are um, problems that need to be solved or maybe need to be changed so that um, the scripture would be more alive through the picture. Or another problem that I have is that because these are pictures and it's not the Bible, I am limited to how many words I could put down. So sometimes I have to edit, 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 edit. But but every word of God is alive, so I'm. I feel like I'm limiting that um, until, until I have a solution, and and then I see that it all comes together and says the story that makes me happy. 앞으로 우리 에이미 씨의 작품들이 어, 이스라엘에서 전시회를 했던 것처럼 한국에서 우리 많은 크리스천들에게 직접 선보이는 그런 전시회를 열수 있는 기회가 또 주어졌으면 좋겠습니다. 에이미 씨 오늘 이렇게 좋은 이야기 해주시고요. 또 작품들 이렇게 직접 보여주셔서 고맙습니다. 나중에 또 한국에서 만날 수 있었으면 더 좋겠습니다. 고맙습니다. 조달아봐.